you and I went shopping for art supplies the other day. Yeah, because I had an unexplained compulsion to paint with acrylics. <laughs> yeah. Which I never do. No. Which I really have no business doing, <laughs> but I wanted to paint a monster. We make a lot of monsters. Yeah, but I specifically wanted to paint a Disney monster. And you have a few to choose from. Yeah, yeah but I didn't want to just paint your run-of-the-mill Monsters, Inc., mm. Haunted Mansion, Night on Bald Mountain Disney monster. Right. I wanted to paint a monster that, like us, uh, gets so little respect oh, yeah. that most people are barely aware of its existence. Okay, let's not overstate. It's not I wanted that to paint bad. a Disney monster <laughs> that you never get to see because they've hidden him away from the public in shame. I'm talking about painting Mickey Mouse from the Disney horror comedy short Runaway Brain. So first, a real quick welcome to our new subscribers. Oh, yeah. And a thank you to our regulars. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what everybody needs to know about Runaway Brain Mickey Mouse. Mickey, in need of cash to get Minnie an anniversary gift, has been tricked into being part of an experiment where a mad scientist named Dr. Frankenolly Clever. has switched Mickey's brain with that of a giant, hulking, practically feral Frankenstein-type beast named Julius as played by a King Kong-sized peg leg Pete. Yeah, and there is a brain transfer, which then leaves Mickey trapped in the body of Julius, and so a crazed monster is now in control of Mickey's body. Mm. So it's chaos. Which you love. It's, it, it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> yes. So I wanted the background to reflect that chaos, and I went with a very loose, angry spiral of yellows, reds, and oranges. Once the background's ready, I take my drawing of Runaway Brain Mickey and I copy it to the canvas with transfer paper. Yeah, this is a great monster. Right? I don't know why Disney makes him so hard to find. Beats me. It never aired on the Disney Channel. Right. They pulled it from a theatrical run in front of the live action 101 Dalmatians. Uh huh. It's not on Disney Plus. You're right. If you want to see this cartoon, there are very few options. Mm -hmm. And we'll tell everybody later where you might be able to find it. But I honestly feel confident that when the Disney execs see the massive, dare I say, record-breaking response to this video, <laughs> oh, and I assume the Disney execs watch us all the time. Because why wouldn't why they? Why wouldn't they? <laughs> they're going to crack open the box that they've buried him in and let this monster loose. Oh, now, while I hack away at the canvas, I should mention that we did little to no research for this painting process. <laughs> right. I didn't bone up with any how-to videos. I didn't brush up on any old techniques. Mm -hmm. I, basically, all we did was buy five tubes of paint. Red, yellow, blue, mm -hmm. black and white. Yeah, and, and four brushes. Mm -hmm. And it cost nearly a hundred huh. bucks. It was up there. And that was on a massive sale. <laughs> yeah. So I think I know why we don't paint with acrylics that often. Mm. I don't know if you know this. You're cheap. But I'm cheap. I know. <laughs> I'll tell you what we did do a lot of research on mm -hmm. was the Runaway Brain short. Seven minutes long. Mm -hmm. It ran in theaters in 1995 as the short before A Kid in King Arthur's Court. Never seen it. Me either. Nominated for an Academy Award. Nice. The story is a classic brain switch horror comedy and the animation is fantastic. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, they didn't phone this one in. No. You can tell they put a lot of love into this. Yes. So I'm not entirely sure why Disney makes it so hard to get your hands on it. I guess some people found it disturbing. I mean, it's, it's disturbing. It's really right in our wheelhouse. I know. But I think the people this monster scared most were the Disney execs. Yeah. All through the production, they kept editing it, changing it. Mm. And maybe it was because, I'm just wild guessing here, Mickey with the runaway brain inside him yeah. is a very scary version of Mickey. Yeah, he, he's not often portrayed as a feral monster. No. But in this short, he is absolutely unhinged. He's unhinged and he has a very intense uh, attraction yeah. to Minnie. Yeah. I can't honestly tell if he wants to smooch her or <laughs> eat her for dinner. It's true. <laughs> but he's very focused on Minnie. Yeah, but it is a horror short. Yeah. So it, it's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be scary. Right. And she's kind of like the Fay Ray in this sort of Kong yeah. kind of Frankenstein story. I might also cite that one scene where there's a brain transfer happening, and there's uh -huh. a huge crackling blast of electricity oh. that literally fries Dr. Frankenolly to a crisp. Yes. He's just he's just ash-covered bones. Oh, my God. And then I think the bones tumble into ash right. as well. I, 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 it surprised me the first time I saw it. Oh, yeah. Because I don't know if I've ever seen Disney do something like that. No. They'll kill off characters left and right all yeah, the time. Yeah, all the time. You know, but a lot of it is 
off screen mm -hmm. or hidden or or artistic, right. if you will. But you know, this was right smack in the middle of the screen. <laughs> Suddenly, this monkey doctor looks like last night's campfire, but very well animated. Oh, it was beautiful. Yes. It's a beautiful death. So, I, but I don't think it's the general public that can't handle that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's corporate Disney. Yeah. I think I think the people want Scary Mickey, and we're gonna give it to them. All right, we're nearing the end of this. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this monster, Mickey Mouse. Okay. Oh, Tell everyone where we got our copy mm. of Mickey Mouse's Runaway Brain, because frankly, it surprised me. Yeah, I didn't realize we owned it. Right. Because again, Disney isn't waving flags and shooting off fireworks about this short. Right. And right now, there's only one DVD Blu-ray set available where you might be able to find it. And that's the Walt Disney Short Films Collection, released in 2015. Which I got you as a present. Yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> it's got other shorts like Get a Horse, Paperman, John Henry, just a bunch of good stuff. Yeah, but you won't see Runaway Brain on the contents list. No. Because even then, even while including it in a home video release, they make you jump through more hoops. Mm -hmm. Because Runaway Brain is a digital download. Yeah. And they have a little insert, little piece of paper with a code that you have to punch in. Yeah. And half the time, I don't look at those little pieces of paper. We never did. No. no. That's why we didn't know that we owned it. Exactly. And fair warning, there's a disclaimer that states that the download codes were set to expire in 2020. We're past that. We are, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we've just recently found this slip of paper and our code still worked in 2023. But that doesn't mean that they all will just put that out there. Yeah. Again, I think based on this video of ours, the one we're recording right now, mm -hmm. Disney's going to see a huge upsurge in the purchase of that shorts collection. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome, uh -huh. Disney. You can contact us and we will let you know where to Venmo our cut. <laughs> right. But they never got their cut. <laughs> So here he is. I love him. He looks unhinged. Mm -hmm. And a little like you when you come over in the morning. <laughs> Jeez, that's it. You're dead. <laughs> the reds are a little blown out on camera. Yeah, it's, it's in person it's not as vibrant as what you're seeing, mm. uh, the reds. But but I think it still looks very frenetic, very chaotic. Oh, yeah. Uh, the colors are very bright. I'm really happy with it because... Okay. Runaway Brain Mickey here really does radiate an aura of madness uh -huh. and savagery. It's those high-waisted pants. It probably is. <laughs> Anybody who wears pants that high is going to be on edge. Yeah, th this is the Mickey that the public deserves. <laughs> right? We need more of this Mickey Mouse. Yes. Release the monster, Disney. Put him in the parks. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is a this is a costume character yes. waiting to happen. Meet and greet. Ugh. I would stand in line for days for yeah. this meet and greet. Yeah, as would anyone. I want his autograph. Yeah, I want I want him I, I want him to, to, to chew my arm. Oh, I want souvenir bite marks. <laughs> All right, so if you just enjoyed watching me do something I have no business doing, oh, a couple of years ago I did a mini painting of Count von Count from Sesame Street. So you can watch me hack my way through that too. And the Count is another monster that they've tried to tone down a little. Oh yeah. Because they're afraid of scaring kids. Right. But I think kids like to be scared. I, I, I think, think it's so. safe. I think it's good for them. I try to scare as many kids as possible oh, every day, <laughs> if I can. You do. <laughs>